All right. Greetings, everyone. Welcome, my beloved radio listening audience. Today, I want to welcome you again today to Matters of the Heart <clears throat> Radio Broadcast Ministry today with radio host Princess Denise Wright and my co-host today, which is in the studio with me, Minister Sarah Rich. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, praise it is a blessing to be here again. To come forth to do another radio broadcast ministry. And we are so thankful to all of you that are tuned in right now. And hope that you'll keep it locked right here for the next 60 minutes. Uh, right now we're in the first segment of our program today. It's going to be a great program. So do not, do not turn the dial. Yes. Keep it locked right, right here. there. If you know what's good for you. Because we got a great topic today yes. so if you want to hear what it's about keep it locked right there so with that being said today is just another blessed saturday thank god for this beautiful day thank god for uh waking up uh this morning uh to see another day in this place that we call earth and what a blessing it is today that sarah and i uh we're gonna yes. be ministering on a topic and um truly i think you'll enjoy it uh, yes. with uh, what we're going to do here. So just just wait just a few more minutes. But the thing that you need to know is we do not start any broadcast without welcoming the ministry of the Holy Spirit into our midst. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and open up our prayer for today. So uh, if you are at home and just sitting around the table on the sofa or whatever you're doing, just sit there and just meditate with me for just a couple of minutes here. So, dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this blessed Saturday. Yes, Lord, in this place that we call earth, we thank you for your grace and mercy today that you blessed us, many of us today, Lord, yes. to wake up this morning and see another day that we have not seen before. Yes. So we thank you, Lord, for your grace and mercy. We thank you, Lord, uh, for the uh, program manager of this radio station, uh, Donald Jackson. I thank God for my uh, video technician that's in the studio as well, Mr. Al Christopher. I thank God for what he's doing in our lives right now. And most of all, I lift each and every one of you out there in radio land that uh, God will bless you with the desires of your heart and praying that you truly, your steps are being ordered by the Lord each and every day, praying that you are reading the word of God and listening to the word of God, trusting the word of God and standing on the promises of God for whatever you're in need. God got it. Yes, he does. And with that being said, <clears throat> it's one of my favorite scriptures that I do love is St. Mark eleven twenty four. 24. It says, therefore, I say unto you, whatsoever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive it and you shall have it. Yes, you will have it in God's perfect timing. Yes. Now, those of you that are not in a close relationship with the Lord, I just want to remind you, God is not a microwave God. He's not a drive through God that just going to just give you what you want. By the time you pray uh, five minutes later, you're wanting thinking that it should happen. No, we have to have faith and we have to have trust in God. And he has plenty of children. You may be one of them if you've accepted Christ as your Savior. But one of the things you do need to know, you have to wait patiently on the Lord. Yes. He will do what he say he will do in his perfect timing, not in your timing. So we again, in closing in this prayer, I pray that everything goes forth according to the will of God, that we will have a great spiritual program today yes. that will bless your hearts and souls as well as ours. In the name of Jesus, yes. amen. 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 With that being said, we're going to get ready to just um, for a few minutes, at least 15 minutes or so. We're going to just uh, talk about a topic that I think will have your interest. And it's uh, talking about today. We're going to talk about angry men and foolish women. Yes. And really, it applies to both of them. <laughs> Okay. Yes, it does. Okay. Yes, it does. Angry and foolish yes. women, angry and foolish men. Yes. Because we can do some things sometimes that is just outright foolish. 
Really, really, really. I remember uh, not too long ago, I was talking to one of my sisters in Christ, and I remember she was talking about some things she was doing when uh, her early days of her life and not giving her life to Christ. And she said, the more things that she did, the more foolish she became, even when she knew that she was doing wrong all the time. But she kept doing wrong on top of that and on top of that and on top of that and just say what a fool was i so i know we can also do things that are not acceptable and we know they're not yes. but we do them anyway sarah yes, we, we sure do, do. Yes, we do. i don't know why we be walking around and thinking we can just get away with any and everything and then it really hurts when somebody make a fool out of us that's true <laughs> that's so true <laughs> it really get to you then like oh gosh what kind of fool was i uh, paying attention to what he said thought he loved me yes. and just lying all the time <laughs> yes yes <laughs> you know people do and they really do will pull a, a, a mess over you if you ain't paying attention and even when you realize what's going on you don't even want to face it either way you just let it go anyway you know that man lying you know that woman lying but you will not give in to save your life just like i'm gonna hang on in there anyway, anyway. maybe he'll change maybe yes. she'll change so sarah let me just have a, a little conversation with you now you know anybody in your family ever been foolish what about you yes <laughs> i have to say yes i've done some <laughs> foolish things and i know some people in my family who have been foolish <laughs> And sometimes continue to do foolish things. Uh huh. Yes, yes, I do. Mm hmm. And they do. And so, what did you do? You tried to uh, talk to them. Did they listen to you, or what happened? But basically, at this particular time, you know, it all depends on who the person is that is talking to you. Mm -hmm. If it's your, if it's uh, your elder, you kind of was taught to respect them. But sometimes you say, mm hmm, yeah, yeah. But I, I got this phrase from one of my friends. Uh -huh. Whenever she would hear something, it would be foolish or something that was untrue. Uh -huh. She would always say, very interesting. So what that was saying is, in reality, the reasoning, it didn't line up with that. So it was interesting to think that you would conceive it to be that way, when in reality, it really wasn't that way. So it let me know that even though we see things and see people doing things, they don't really think them out. They just do it and do it through impulse. But we as believers in Christ got to realize that we have to think it out. And we have to think it out in the lines of God. And with myself, I have did some silly things myself. You know, you wind up and um, you do things, but you don't really realize that you're doing it. And then you have to catch yourself. You say, wasn't that very silly of me? I wonder how many people see me do what I did. And it, it's like... You really know that it was silly. You really know it didn't line up with the word of God. But at the time you did it, it felt good, even though it was wrong that you did what you did. And that's the way it is. Like when you tell somebody that you're going to do something and you think to yourself, mm, no, I, I know I wasn't going to do that. That was silly of me to tell that person that. But when they you never, know that they, you they, know. They, they will never find out. Uh -huh. they, they won't find out I did that silly thing or that stupid thing. But guess what? Even though we realize that we do things that are silly and stupid, we have to also realize that God sees everything that we do. He knows when we're silly. He knows when we're angry. He knows when we're stupid. And when we do the things that are not pleasing before him. And you know one thing, as we grow in Christ and as we grow in the word of God, we realize that we need to line up with God's word at all times. And being silly is not one of the things because we serve a God that's a God of wisdom and a God of knowledge and a God of love and understanding. And he doesn't do anything foolish. He does thing, everything on purpose. Yeah, but Sarah, realize this now. When we do foolish stuff, we're not thinking about God. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. We, we, we've allowed Satan to take that role. That's right. We put God on the back burner. We're not thinking about it because we say, we got to do I got to do this regardless yes. no matter what's mm -hmm. going on I got to do it I know it's wrong but I I, I can't help myself yeah. I got to do it I'm just gonna have to thank God to forgive me later, later on. I got to do what I got to do right yeah, now. now that's right let me ask our brother uh Donald Jackson Donald you know you have you ever did anything foolish or are you been perfect all your life what's been going on I have done I've done some foolish things all the time. All the time. Yeah. All the time. 
<laughs> you know, it, it, it's funny though that you know sometimes you do things and then you regret, regret it, it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and sometimes you do things and you say, "Oh my goodness, I wish I didn't do that." I know. <laughs> And you know, and um, sometimes because we don't really think ahead of doing things, you just do things at the spur of the moment. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, I do that. You know, I mean, it was it foolish for me to leave Jamaica and come here? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> After you start to experience some things here, said I wish I didn't come. That's but, right. You know, so, but there are times that it, when you make that decision. It feels good. Yeah, it, it does. feels right. But it then does. as you start to live into that decision, yes. like, oh my goodness, that was not the right decision. When you but really you know get something? yourself in a mess. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's because we tend to do a lot of things before putting God first. First, that's oh, yes. true. We that's need right. to do that. And, you know, as the, the older I got, I realized that, you know, I've made so many decisions in, the pa- in, in my yes. past life that I did not have God in and yes. I start to regret. Yes. And the minute I start to put God in front, I realize that things are acting and working better uh-huh. because uh-huh. God is yes. in charge. Yes. Uh-huh. You know? yes. yes. <laughs> and you know, that's the truth because a lot of times is just like we said, uh, you just say, it's my thing. I do what I want to do. I don't need nobody trying to tell me I'm going to do what I want to do and stop trying to judge me. I'm going to do what I want to do regardless. I know it's wrong, but anyway, I'll ask God to forgive me later. Yes, ah! yes, yes. <laughs> We always put that in yeah, there. We'll ask God that. later on uh-huh. another time yeah. uh, that you, if I want to repent, but it ain't going to be today. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm, we're talking about. I'm just going to do it today because I got to do this thing. Because it reminds me, too, of... Uh, when I got married for the first time, I believe uh, it was in 1975, and hadn't got married in 1975, but in 76. But I remember, uh, like, breaking up with your, your boyfriend that you had. And so I think we broke up, and then uh, uh, while he was, we was broken up, I, I kept praying to God. It's like, oh, God, send him back, please, Lord, please send him back, Lord praying all that when i should have let him stay where he was <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's so true you know you know god you. already to let somebody be uh, be taken out of your life when you need to be moving forward you didn't even pray to god and when you decided to marry him the next year but i tell you you learned from that because that's what happens when we don't pray and give yes, it to god yes. okay so god says i'm gonna send him back and show you that you don't really need him. And truly, uh, with th- through that marriage of all that happened, uh, causing uh, brokenness, anger, and all that. But when someone is not treating you right, doing the wrong thing, see there, that's what happens when we don't pray and give it to God. Mm-hmm. You just wanting what you want. And so God will sometimes just send them back to let you know you did not need them in the first place. So and true. if you had only prayed, I could have spoken to you and let you know just trust me and and not man okay and not man that's yes. right mm-hmm. al you got anything you want to say about being anger but but i, I want to add something else because there's a, right there, there, there is another side to that go ahead you know um what sometimes goes wrong is when we make decisions that we, that's not our decision that's mm-hmm. true. because we have people that we listen to we have so-called friends, friends. Mm-hmm. so-called people who we think have our back yes but they don't really have her back they'd rather to see you go in a certain direction and so they help you make decisions and then you think that you are making the right decision Decision. because your friend is someone you trust and believe in Mm -hmm. told you to do it and when you have done it then you regret doing it because you realize then that that person did not really have your Back. Interest. They and have your back, back and all. And, oh, and they just set a lot you of up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they just set you mm-hmm. up. <laughs> I don't know if uh, our friend was set up, but. <laughs> 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 but that's another question. That's, that is. That is something. That is something. Yeah, we setting you up for the yes, fall, yes, boy. Yes. Sometimes people show be digging a ditch for you and for <laughs> you to fall right on in there mm-hmm. by listening to them. And truly, it is sometimes. Do they really have your back? No. Would they have done what they told you to do? You don't. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I doubt it. I doubt, I doubt they would have even made taken that step to do what they've uh, allowed you to fall into. And then you just got to really pray to God. Yes. Please bring me out mm-hmm. of this mess, God. Please, I yes. need your help. Then, mm-hmm. then you're calling on them like uh, you ain't never called on them before. And and I'm sure God is saying. 
wait a minute, I don't think I've heard from this person in 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, <laughs> but that's true. Okay, I see him calling me now. Let me see what they want. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so it is truly with the anger and the foolishness. Yes. Now, what's the difference now, uh, Sarah, the difference between just being anger, angry and foolish? You know, the difference... I'm going to just hear what your take is on that. Mm -hmm. You know, when I sit down and I think about it, you know, foolish things you do without thinking about it, but angry things you do when you have allowed your your emotions to take you in an area of life that it shouldn't be. Uh, um, basically, sometimes, you know, people get in altercations because they allow their anger to take them to an area of life that they should not be in and it causes you to do something that you shouldn't really be doing but if you would settle down and calm yourself you wouldn't do that but foolishness is like hey going out and spending all going out and having just enough money to pay your bills and deciding that you're going to go and have a shopping spree mm -hmm. and that's not foolish. and not pay your bills <laughs> oh that's, yeah that's foolishness but anger is when you have allowed your emotions and yourself your reason is to go past any kind of understanding that is normal and you just want to take care of business right then and now. It's like going over and slapping somebody or, or going over and sometimes I've heard women say, well, you know, he made me so mad. I seen him with this woman. Uh, they did this and that. I went and slashed their car, their car tires and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's anger. Mm -hmm. Now that's anger. And it's, 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 it's intentional to go out to hurt somebody. But That's a right. foolish person is not really hurting somebody. They're just doing something that they're not really thinking about or not giving it full understanding. But it, it may not involve somebody, but it may involve somebody. That's so, my take on it. And so what's the word of God saying on those two scriptures, if you're... Uh, those two uh, words, foolish and anger. Well, first of all, we're going to take the first one. We're going to go with foolish. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go from... Um, Jeremiah the fourth chapter in the 22nd verse and it mm. says for my people are foolish they have not known me they are soulish children they have not understand no understanding they are wise to do evil but to do good they have no knowledge the next one I want to come from is going to be talking about that one on anger we're going to be coming from Ephesians the fourth chapter in the 26th verse and mm -hmm. it says be ye angry and sin not let not the sun go down upon your wrath those are the two we're going to be talking about you know you can be angry but then you don't have to allow it to take you to a level that will cause you to fall out of the alignment with what God has asked us to do. We're to love one another. And we're not to let the sun go down on our rail. Exactly. Thank you, Sarah, with that. Absolutely. Okay, Donald, you have a comment on um, what you just heard about those scriptures? Yes, I, I totally agree with um, with, mm -hmm. with Sarah's take on yes. you know, anger and foolishness. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes um, foolishness is something that you could perhaps take back. But anger is something that you have done okay. at the spur of the moment that you really can't take back again. Uh, I mean, an angry person will pull the, th the trigger of a gun yeah. at the spur of the moment. Yeah. And then uh, even after you, when you calm down, you realize you did something in, angry, in anger, you can't take it back but again. A foolish person, definitely, if you did something foolish, you, you regret it, yes, but... You'd say, if I could do this again, I wouldn't do it again. Okay. If I could do it all over, I couldn't do it. But this person's yes. gone if you have pulled the trigger in anger. Yes. You slap a person in um, in anger, that slap is already gone. Yes. Right? You went on a shopping spree because you're foolish, foolish decision. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. the, you can get money back mm -hmm. to replace that money. You can't replace a life. That's you true. cannot replace a slap. Slap's That's already true. gone. So there's a, there are two different things, you know, between the anger and foolishness. They... It's how you carry out that, that act yes. of yeah. foolishness or act of anger yes. and the end result. And like Sarah said, you may have meant to hurt somebody or not hurt somebody or somebody is hurt in the process, whichever yes. way you take it, right? You know, yes, and Donald, you know, since you were speak, speaking about that angry, um, could you just give us a couple of, couple of seconds um, comment on what would you have done uh, when we saw the um, Oscars on the, um, uh, last week about how our brother in Christ, uh, Will Smith, 
reacted to Chris Rock for saying his wife was bald headed. Would you guys have gotten up angry and did the same thing? No, I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. And I have several reasons why I wouldn't. One, that was not professionalism. Yes, right. mm-hmm. That's the first thing. And if I'm a professional person, and Will should be a professional person, mm-hmm. that's not how you you would settle a dispute between you and a fellow mm-hmm. yes. professional. Because yes. um, um, the, the the other guy is is, is basically his partner in business because mm-hmm. they do the same thing. They're actors. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right? So that's not how I would have done that. If I got up, yes, I might have been angry causing me to get up but by the time i walk up to that stage that distance that if i'm thinking at all that anger would dissipate and because i don't want to look foolish and i want to maybe maintain my machoism I would simply walk up to him and whisper in his ears and say, man, don't do that again. Or, man, I see outside. Or whatever. That, you yes. know what, Donald? That is exactly yes. what I would have done. Go up there. You know, you th- Chris, yes. I don't know what's wrong with you. I would never say what you said today, but I'm bigger than this. Bigger exactly. than better than that. Mm-hmm. And so I'm just letting you know, I, I, I'm i a pray for you, brother. Yes. Because you didn't have to say that about mm-hmm. my wife. And mm-hmm. so g- let it go with that because, no, you just don't go up there and do something like that. And now it, everything is on the line, uh, future projects for him and this and that and that. It's unnecess- It was just yes. not necessary. They said he was lap- smiling at first when Chris said that. But when he looked over there and saw Jada, I was pretty upset about it. Uh, he popped up. <laughs> so so that, I think, was both foolish yes. and angry. That's mm-hmm. true. Anger. Yes. All in one. All in one. And yes. now yes. look at look at the con- There's consequences to that. Yeah. Now, see, that's what he's going to have some consequences for a while. Yes. But I think we have two minutes left in the segment. Okay. Well, we're going to get ready to close out uh, because um, we do have a, another guest coming on on the second he- segment of that. So with that being said, uh, keep it locked right here. We'll be back in a few minutes after commercial break. Thank you.